Hi guys, Josh here. Welcome to France for a second. Today we're at the 21st Brisbane Cameraholics Fair. There wasn't one last year because obviously COVID, but we're back in action and more spread out. But yeah, we're just gonna have a look around. I didn't come for anything specific, but maybe I'll end up getting some things. So we'll see what happens. It's been pretty decent in Brisbane as far as COVID goes. And so, yeah, there's a lot less restrictions that we have here compared to somewhere else in the world. So I do understand if that makes you feel a bit uncomfortable, but here it's been quite a long time since we've had a community transmission. Any any cases have been people coming back from overseas and they're all in quarantine. And so, yeah, Brisbane's been all right, which is why we're able to do this and, and yeah. I'm sorry if this makes you feel like major FOMO because you can't do it where you are, but we've been fortunate that the community here has been pretty good at, at following the protocols and making sure everybody's good and doing, checking in and a little contact tracing and stuff. So yeah, I do apologize if you do feel a bit weird watching people be so close and such as, uh, yeah, and in such big numbers, but we've been doing, we've been doing pretty decent in Brisbane. So we've been very fortunate that, yeah, Think the way we be able to do and operate around here and so yeah that's just a little bit of a little bit of a warning I guess if stuff like this kind of gives you some PTSD from last year Nothing better than oh, yeah, a, the book covers are amazing. These 19th century albums, look at the art, look at the yeah. the uh, contents of those. Chroma lithography at its best. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Strange, how are you going? Yeah. Hey? How you doing? <laughs> Good. Good stuff. Act like I'm looking for stuff. Yeah. There's one heck of a zoom though. It's a beast. Everyone else is like one. Hey. Hey YouTube. Remember me? I'm that cool guy who showed you how to calibrate your range finder. <laughs> it's funny because this would come out before that one. <laughs> oh no, forget, uh, forget about that. Coming to a Coming soon. video near you. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I didn't go to this fair with the intention of buying anything like I did the previous years. I was looking for a range finder or a medium format camera. This year I kind of just wasn't looking for anything specific, but that doesn't mean I didn't find anything. And I did find some pretty good stuff. I also got some stuff for some friends, so I might show you those as well. But firstly, I've been looking for a wider lens for my C330. So I found this great condition, 65 millimeter, 3.5, which I will be using quite a bit in the future, hopefully. The shutter speeds are all working and it looks nice and clean. I also found a Super 8 camera. This is one of the, the Braun Nizos. This is the S800. So funny thing is I actually have one of these coming in the mail from Germany, but there's been a huge delay on postage from and to Australia and Germany. But I found this one for a really cheap deal. Um, the lens is pretty clean. The only issue was the viewfinder is, is a bit hazy, but that doesn't affect the film and the lens, which is good. 
and this is a, a Super 8 camera that does 54 frames per second as well, which is really rare. It's, and it's why I've been looking for one. Unfortunately, the, the focusing is fully manual, unlike other Super 8 cameras I've used in the past. So that is like the only main negative in my opinion. And you do need a separate battery for the light meter, so... Yeah, you can just wing it without the light meter and hope everything's fine. Um, this one actually is fully working, so... I'm definitely looking forward to using this. Um, it's a little bit dirty, but it's all cosmetic. And yeah, I got this for a really cheap deal. And depending on how the one I have coming in the mail turns out, I'm gonna sell one of these and keep the cleaner and better conditioned one because I think the one I got coming from Germany has a much cleaner viewfinder. So, but we'll see. But these go for a pretty, pretty insane price these days now. So it's really lucky to find this one. Now also a friend of mine was looking for a point and shoot and they didn't want to spend too much so I did find this working Pentac SVO 738 One thing you have to be careful with with point and shoots is a lot of a lot of them the shutter button dies so that's the main thing to be wary of when getting a point and shoot make sure the shutter button works it helps to bring some batteries um, but this person had some and so I got that for a friend, they're going to pay me back later. And lastly, I got a whole heap of expired photographic paper because a friend of mine is looking for some. And so they're going to pay me back for that too. But I'll, I'll put a photo up in here just because this card's a bit cramped. But yeah, so that's kind of what I ended up getting. There was a lot of good stuff and a lot of decently priced stuff compared to what's online because everybody's overcharging or just inflating the prices a significant amount. So this was, there was a good balance of stuff being how they are online, stuff a bit cheaper, stuff a bit more expensive, but it was mostly a good balance. There was quite a few good deals depending on what you're looking for. So this is the fourth one I've been to, and yeah, it's it's pretty nice if you live in Brisbane or even on the Gold Coast or Sunshine Coast. It is a pretty decent camera fare to come down and or come up and visit because there's, there's a lot of good deals. There's some nice finds. It's, it's, it's different every year, even though there's a lot of the same vendors. Yeah, hope you hope you like the video, guys. Please let me know your thoughts on everything you saw on on camera fairs. Let me know if there's any around where you live, and and if they're any good as well. Because who knows, maybe I'll be in, in that area at that time, somewhere in the future. But yeah, hope you like the video, guys. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, turn on this post notifications so you know when there's a new episode. Anyway, I'm Josh, this has been Frames Per Second, just get out there, shoot some film.